All right, now it is time for our recruiting report with Otis Kirk, our recruiting insider. Of course, he joins us over the phone as always. And Otis, we're going to start things off with Cameron Ball. He is a three-star yep. defensive tackle from the 2021 yep. class. He's got 40 <laughs> offers and finally <laughs> narrowed them down to five. Arkansas um, is in that top five. Yeah, he had 40 offers. I tell you what, they were legit offers. This kid is big time, Terry. I mean, I know he's rated a three star, but the reason for that mainly, he plays on one of the worst teams in Georgia, one of the high school teams. Price Cities is not very good, but he is a big time player. He started on the varsity since the ninth grade. Could play both ways, so he's never really got to concentrate on just defense. But he never, he's going to commit on September the 22nd, which is his dad's birthday. Arkansas, Georgia. Let's see, Arkansas, Georgia Tech, Arizona State, Tennessee, and Illinois are the final five. Here's my thought on this. I think if, the, if, if he leaves Atlanta, he will go to Arkansas, I think. Uh, it, I think it's Arkansas or Georgia Tech. Now, I know the other three have a chance. The other three have a chance, Tennessee, Illinois, and Arizona State. But I really think if he leaves there, Arkansas will get him. Um, I'm going to tell you, one of the things this class really – put this class really a lot higher is if you get Cameron Ball and you get Keytron Jackson. Those are the two kids out there that are big time players that it may come down to are they going to stay home with Keytron in Texas and Arkansas and Cameron with Georgia Tech and Arkansas. If Arkansas can get those two kids to leave home and come to Fayetteville and hold what they've gotten and just add whatever you know the, the normal other players to this class, it's going to be a heck of a class. But those are two really – people always ask me, who, who's next? Who's next? I'm not saying Cameron Barr or Keetron Jackson are next, but they're important, important pieces, and they are in the – Arkansas is in the finals for both of them. Well, another Cameron that we need to talk about is Cameron Little. He is a kicker for the 2021 class, committed yeah. to Arkansas, and he just got some recognition, named second team All-USA High School football team. Tell us about that. That's a big – that's a big honor, and he's got the last name to do it. Little, uh, <laughs> Steve Little was a great kicker here in Arkansas. And now here comes Cameron Little, and he, he, he was five out of seven on field goals last year with a long of 46. He, uh, uh, you know, he's perfect on 14 point after touchdowns. He's got a really strong leg. He can punt, but that's not what Arkansas is looking at him for. They're really, it's more so with, uh, Placements and kickoffs, and uh, he's kind of a might be AJ Reed's replacement. You know, I mean, that, he's kind of penciled in to do what AJ is doing is get scheduled to do this year. And Cameron is just a uh, now nah, he he has a strong leg. He's the number two rated kicker in the country. Uh, he he chose Arkansas over Oklahoma State, Colorado, and several other schools, military academies and stuff. But uh, you know, Arkansas wanted to give him a scholarship. They did, you know, they. Some schools would have preferred he walked on, but this kid's too good to get a walk-on scholarship. And now US, the, the all-USA team, number two, the only Arkansas commitment to make that. But uh, he is he's somebody that can really be an impact player in this class. And, and with Scott Fountainheart in, hired at Arkansas, Arkansas knows the importance of special teams, and they put a big emphasis on that, Tara. And, and that's the reason that they're recruiting Cameron Ball and other players for punter and long snapper and, and continuously trying to upgrade those positions as well. Well, Albert Regis is another 2021 guy we need to talk about, a three-star defensive tackle out of Texas, and Arkansas has made it into his top six teams. Yeah, and I don't feel as good about – he's from LaPorte, Texas. I don't feel as good about him as I do Cameron Ball. But, I, I mean, Arkansas is in the running. I mean, they made the cut. Arkansas, Ole Miss, if he leaves the state, if he stays in there, it's Texas, Texas A&M, Texas Tech, or Houston. I, I, I think this – you know, I mean, this is a kid that could go any of those directions. Texas might have the inside advantage on him, but uh, – but he is a uh, – he's built real low. He, he played tight end some last year, caught eight touchdown passes for uh, for them over there. And uh very good player. He just, he's about 6'1", 290, maybe 300. But, you know, short and uh, really can get after you. And uh, But he, he's a good player. I, I feel better about Arkansas' chances with ball than I do him, which probably means they'll get rid of and, and, and not get ball. But, but that's, that's – Whatever the day, whatever the date is, August twenty third or fourth, whatever it is, I, I feel better about ball than I do Regis. But, but I mean, Arkansas is in the finals. A lot's going to depend, you know. Hey, I mean, how how is he? Got, you know, I mean, he's not. He's probably not going to get to take a visit here, and that's not going to help, you know. So unless this thing gets cleared up where they can take some business in January, would he wait that long? Who knows? So probably not by narrowing his list this quickly. 
Well, we're going to wrap things up with Solomon Wright. As you know, high school football is starting up pretty soon uh, this weekend, and Solomon is actually going to be playing in the Northwest Arkansas area. Yeah, I want to bring him up simply because he is committed to Arkansas. He's a very good football player. He's another one, another one of those defensive linemen. We're tackles. We're kind of on defensive tackles and, and stuff today. And uh, he's six one, about two seventy five. And here's the deal with uh, Solomon. He plays at by end Oklahoma. And they're going to play a grab it Friday night there. And, uh, you know, Bayan was the state runner-up in Oklahoma in their, cla- in their, uh, in their classification, state runner-up. But, but uh, uh, grab it was 4-7, and seven, but they're going to open the season out there at grab it. So it's a chance if you're from northwest Arkansas and you're tired of sitting in the house and <laughs> tired, you know, you're going to have to social distance, you're going to have to wear a mask, but you can go out to grab it Friday night and you can watch this kid play and it'll give you a chance to get out of the house and enjoy yourself and get to see a good football a very, very good football player. I shouldn't just say good football player because I've known Kenyatta and Solomon and those guys for years, and and uh, he's a very good football player. He was committed to Texas Tech. Arkansas offered him. He decided to play in the SEC. He told me, so I'm a mama's boy. I want to stay closer to home. He didn't want to go to Oklahoma State. That's where Kenyatta made his name before he went to the NFL, but Solomon had no interest in going there. So they, 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 Oklahoma State did offer, but Kenyatta wasn't interested in Oklahoma State, so he's going to be a Razorback, and this is a chance to go out there and just keep play. You won't be you won't be disappointed. <laughs> well, Otis Kirk, thank you as always for all the insight. We appreciate it, and we look forward to talking to you again next week. You bet. Thanks, sir.